I wouldn't say that they're like super good build quality. Like coming from somebody who owns multiple premium guitars, when I think about build quality, those are the guitars that I think about. When I talk about really liking my slick guitar, it is under the pretense that like this is a budget guitar. So I'll tell you what I like about it, but I'll also tell you what I think you should be aware of. Personally though, I would recommend getting a case with it. These cases are fucking awesome. The guitar itself, here's what you need to understand about these guitars if you're considering one. This is a stripped down bare bones guitar. You have to go into it with that kind of an expectation. That's what I was looking for, man. I wanted something that I can like throw around, toss around, not worry about it getting dinged up, but something that would be a workhorse, like both in the studio and in the live setting. That's what you're getting with this guitar. So positives, excellent pickup, man. Like I am so fucking impressed with this pickup. The pickup alone makes it worthwhile. The hardware is fantastic, man. We have a recessed bridge here. This is a, a fully brass bridge, brass knob, um, brass strap locks, sorry, strap buttons. They're not locks and brass tuning keys. Honestly, with it, with a budget guitar, the first thing you think about swapping out are the tuning keys and the nut, neither of which you need to do here. The tuning keys, the nut and the electronics, like you do not need to switch these out. The tuning keys are great. It's a graph tech nut. It's cut pretty well. It could be cut a little bit better, but the tuning keys, the bridge, the knob, everything is fantastic. Now the fretwork, the fretwork is very, very good. They're polished, they're smooth. What you wanna be aware of is the edges. Now it's not so much the fret edges, it's more the fingerboard edges. I did end up rolling mine because they were very sharp. So that's something to be mindful of. But aside from that, the big thing that is either gonna be a make or break for people, and it's a make for me, but it won't be for everybody, is the lack of finish. There's just a thin layer of automotive paint here. So you can feel all the wood. You can feel it. Uh, is very, very smooth on the back of the neck. Not like a polyurethane finish, which just feels like super sticky and plasticky. But to some people, they want that polyurethane finish because it looks good, right? It looks good and they feel like it's giving an extra layer of protection. But personally, I far prefer this just in terms of feel because the guitar just feels fucking alive and my finger is not, my thumb's not getting stuck on the neck. It's just super smooth. So the lack of finish, the open woods, the brass hardware in the pickups, it feels fantastic to play and it sounds fantastic, but it is super bare bones. It's cheap. It's not like high build quality like you'd get out of a higher price guitar.